The bride actually goes with some things to her in-laws family. She takes Rii, Dekwa, Chin Chin, and also Goat, Akuya. My peoples, ah, ah, all these things. viewers welcome back to cuisines and culture with sally we're back today we're happy and smiling <laughs> salam alaikum my people and once again ramadan kareem okay and also today as you can see we're going make a free yeah but we had to apply some lipstick you understand to you can <laughs> You get what I mean. All right, once again, welcome back to Cuisines and Culture with Sally. Salam alaikum. If you're new on this channel, you're welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe. Give this video and the rest of the video a thumbs up. <laughs> Comment and also share. If you are a comeback member, we are here again. We are here again. <laughs> don't mind my voice yeah we're here again and today we're going to continue with our wedding episode please if you haven't watched my video on the different uh, on the different tribes in the northern nigeria and also you know i gave an overview of the northern wedding both christian and muslim weddings please go and watch those two videos it will share a light or it will give you more understanding on this video so today on the wedding series we're going to talk about mergi traditional wedding you know in nigeria as you know the dominant um tribes are uh, yoruba hausa and Igbo, and i'm hausa so my channel is basically educating people on the house of culture the house of food and also nigerian contemporary dishes and other issues which we have started include including on this channel so in the north we have different tribes and therefore one one of them is actually the Marigis. and today i'm just going to talk about the Marigi traditional wedding where are my Marigi people gather here let's talk a big <laughs> and also most of my friends are Marigi. even my closest friend is Marigi. so yeah and so Marigi people actually um you know both christian and muslim have the way they do their own weddings like i've said in my other video but there is a specific way tribes in the north do their own weddings so the mergi wedding um the mergi traditional wedding is called rekia in hausa rekia so this is what we're going to talk about today whether muslim or christian after the church wedding or the mox wedding they do something called rekia so this rekia um is done mainly the next day that is um after the wedding is on saturday or maybe on friday is done the next day so let's say the wedding is on saturday the rekia is done on a sunday so this is how rekia um takes place the woman that's the bride will go to her back to her parents house the next day <laughs> after they are married yeah she will go back to her parents house and then when she goes back to her parents house she's giving these traditional things broom mucha what is mucha in Turanchi in, in english mucha is this thing you use to make swallow anyways and um, mucha broom that's sincere and house and some other traditional thing that is, she's been given she will hold it in her hands and all that and the father will pray for her that is her father will pray for her she will kneel down and the father will pray for her sending her off or sending her forth to her husband's house so after she is done from her parents house she will now go to her in-laws house 
during this process of rekia the most fascinating thing is that the bride will be inside the car that is when the bride and um, parents have already prayed for her and you know she's left her house their house to go to her in-laws house before going to her house yeah you understand those things the wife the bride will be in a car her friends will be lined up at the back of the car the car will literally be moving slowly like tortoise i'm telling you so and other people let's say aunties you know grandmas grandpas <laughs> and friends and other people will follow and they will be singing they will be dancing her her best friend or let me say her cheap bridesmaid will be in the front with this calabash on her head with some things and they will be dancing and they will be following the car apart from that there are women also that will be sweeping the ground they will be sweeping the ground because it's a new bride they will be sweeping the ground and then the car will be moving and people will be at the back and they will be singing and all that but the culture is really really very fascinating now at her in-laws house this is very interesting at her in-laws house the mother-in-law is going to pray for her and she's going to accept her into the family and the most interesting thing that I didn't even know, I just found out, you know, you have to read up these things and you have to get information from family, from friends, from, you know, elder ones. So what fascinates me is that um, the mother-in-law gives her a name in which the mother-in-law would love to call her with. So she will give her a name. Another interesting thing is, oh, and also, if you've not watched my video on five reasons why you should marry a house side girl, go and watch it. Oh, many, many and plenty, plenty advantages. Anyways, that is by the way. So, um, after the mother-in-law has accepted her and given her a name and blessed her and everything, the, and another interesting thing is that that I also found out is that the bride actually goes with some things. To her in-laws family she takes re -e. i don't know what is re -e in english or all these things that i look for in him <laughs> she goes with re -e. she goes with dokwa she goes with um chin chin you understand re -e, dokwa chin chin and also goat Akuya. as in when my friend told me that when i was you know getting the information i was like with Akuya, with, <laughs> with good pa, she will give that to her mother-in-law. The same thing, really, chin chin, um, dokwa and Akuya, mm, that's good, <laughs> and good to the father-in-law. And she will give the same thing to the firstborn of the family. She will also give the same thing to the lastborn of the family. My peoples. Ah, ah. All these things, outside girls, on top shot. Just go and watch that my video. Five reasons on uh, why you should marry a outside girl. You understand why I'm saying? Uh -uh. <laughs> so she will go with all these things, and um, after that, the family can, you know, decide to give her a present, money or whatever, just a present to so like say thank you. Um, for bringing this thing to us we are grateful we have accepted you into this family apart from that this is the last part apart from that just wait for it the last part is the woman that's the new bride will have to cook for her in-laws room way in in the olden days um she she have she will have to cook for a week for her in-laws like it's like a new bride is in the family right now and she has to cook for a week but my friend the person that this cheap bride made for me during my wedding my very close friend she didn't do <laughs> for one week <laughs> she didn't do for one week she was like we're in a modernized time she did for actually two days yeah we're actually in a modernized time and i don't think someone will just cook for a whole week for a whole house 
but yeah my friend did hers for just two days she cooked for her in-laws for two good days this is really fascinating for me also and amazing as in wow uh, we have diverse cultures and you know it's it's really beautiful africa it's it's fascinating africa as a whole and nigeria we we have these different tribes even in the north and everyone have their ways they do things it's really beautiful and fascinating and if only if only we will you know love ourselves as i've said in my other video in my last video tribalism at home racism in the abroad if you have not watched that video go and watch that video it's just things that we don't really want to talk about but we really need to address if we will only understand ourselves as a continent as a country as a nation as a state and understand our difference and have unity i'm telling you we will move far we will go far look at how fascinating this um traditional marriage of the Marigis is very very fascinating so this is going to be a series like a wedding series um traditional wedding series of the north different thai tribes in the north have different way they do the traditional things <laughs> you understand so this is just for the Marigis. in my next video we'll either talk about the kanuris or the chibok and i'm chibok I'll tell you if you ask me my own name, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about other tribes and the way they do their traditional wedding in my next video. So stay tuned. This content is going to be so interesting. Trust me. And I will see you in my next video. Once again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe. Let's keep this ministry moving as let's push it to the permanent side. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Now, how about my peoples? Uh -huh. My peoples from the north, share. Let's get to 1,000, you know, why can't subscribers soon? We've really done well and we have like over 300 subscribers right now and i'm so grateful i don't take anything for granted you know it's um if you want to make something out of life you can just do it boom it can just happen boom it's it's like step by step so i'm really grateful for all our subscribers if you haven't subscribed once again please subscribe to this channel um click the like button subscription is free by the way you can also um after subscribing that bell thing you can just hit it on so that you'll be notified each time i post a new video so see you in my next video god bless you and ramadan cream once again bye